What's up, smarty people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in a living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do I always send you? DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote, and maybe you can have me at your next event. Today on the program. Fast facts. You know I like some fast facts. These are the this is the stuff that you come up with at dinner parties and get togethers and uh, you become one of the smartest people in the room because you had these pretty cool fast facts. Today's fast fact, time moves faster at higher altitudes. Let me get that first sentence right. <laughs> I'm not editing anything. Time moves faster at higher altitudes. Time seems like a simple enough concept. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and so on. That is, except for a little something called gravitational time dilation. First explored in Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, the idea almost confusingly is almost confusingly simple. The farther away you are from a massive object, e.g. a planet, the faster time travels. The more massive the object, the slower, the slower time travels, which is why things get very wonky around supermassive black holes like the one at the center of our galaxy. These differences in how time flows are minuscule on Earth. So they don't really affect us. The top floor of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, does not operate with a special time dilated clock. Yet technically, even our heads experience just a time, a time just a, a bit differently than our feet. In 2010, the U.S. National Standards Te uh, uh, and Technology (NIST) even performed an experiment using optical atomic clocks that could measure a change in dime dilation within less than one meter. Although imperceptible to our minds, precision technologies such as GPS need to factor in time dilation in order to work at all. So the next time you use Google Maps, consider giving a shout out to Einstein and his mind-bending theory of the universe. A little tidbits, a little more tidbits on this fast fact. Uh, speed in miles per hour, Doc Brown's DeLorean needs to reach before traveling through time and back to the future. Say it with me, 88 miles per hour. Year Stephen Hawking's A Brief History in Time was published, 1988. The speed of light in miles per second, which makes for an eight-minute journey from the sun to the earth, 186,000. Number of satellites in the global positioning system, constellation, 31. There's 31 satellites in the GPS. Just that little fast fact is good enough to get you on the map. That's pretty cool. Here's a little bit more for you. Scientists used a solar eclipse to prove Einstein's general theory of relativity. Today, Albert Einstein is known best for his general theory of relativity, a concept of gravity that revolutionized physics. But when he published the theory in 1916 in the German science journal, Annalene der Physik, the idea got its fair share of pushback. At the time, Einstein wrote, every coachman and every waiter is debating whether relativity theory is correct. Belief in this matter depends on political affiliation. Then came Arthur Eddington, a British astronomer who conducted an amazing experiment only months after World War I ended. On May 29, 1919, Eddington observed a solar eclipse, more specifically, a star cluster called Hyades, H-Y-A-D-E-S, in the Taurus constellation, visible during the darkness of totality to see how the starlight was affected by the sun's mass. After spending months crunching the numbers, Eddington proved Einstein correct. 
the starlight had been bent in the manner he predicted. The German physicist soon became a scientific rock star the world over, and our perception of the universe was never the same. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's this has been what makes you fader. Fader. I'm so. I'm so funny. Okay, this has been what makes you smarter, and that is a fast fact. Use that at the next cocktail party or get together and be the smartest person in the room. Also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. This has been What Makes You Smarter. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here.